Hello everyone, here is Natan Cavalcante from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Welcome to one more session. Today we are going to talk about Vendor Master Record MES Update. Okay, uh, so let me, prov let me provide you a scenario. Let's just say I have a list of vendors that I no more will be performing purchasing from these vendors and I would like to block all of them. Okay, so the idea is to show you guys how to, to perform a mass update blocking all these vendors. Okay, this is the scenario is very quick and simple. Uh, the first step is to perform a li to, to get a list with all vendors I would like to block. So I would say that it would be good to run to, uh, a report, a vendor report. We can use MKVZ transaction code. Okay. Uh, I will provide for this organization that I, would, that I would like to list my vendors. Um, here in this environment, I don't have a lot of vendors, uh, just a, a few. And what I'm going to do is to block all of them. Okay. Uh, as we can see, this vendor they are not blocked. They are not blocked for purchasing and for company code, they are okay. Uh, okay, so after we block these vendors, you see that we, uh, this information will be updated here. Okay. Okay. Uh, we know there is a transaction code that we can do that manually. Should be X. K05. So first I will show you how to block manually, and after that I will block performing mass update. Okay, so I'm going to block this vendor 10263. 10263. I have to inform the company code and purchase organization. I'd like to block. Hit enter. So usually, what do you do? Depending if you want to do for our company codes or just for the one you have selected, you can uh, choose what are you going to block. Okay, I I will block all everything I am going to block. Any quality reasons? I will choose total block. Okay, just save. Uh, here, uh, the system performs a warning that says um, uh, this vendor has open items on company code SN01, but no problem, just a warning, and the changes have been made. What I'm going to do now is just run again the report and show you guys that we have this field is different now, the block function, okay, and Another field, these three fields now are updated. Okay, uh, now I'm going to unlock my vendors. My vendor, okay? Okay, so the first step is okay. We have completed the first step. Now let's go to the second step. I will need this screen in order to get the field technical name of the fields okay so now what I'm going to do is going I'm going to open mass transaction code I will open object type vendors you can see that we have a lot of object types that you can perform mass update okay so just follow the steps I am providing now uh, and you'll be fine because it's very similar I left a1 Let's run. Okay. Now we have to tell the system which fields we would like to update. Okay. Uh, so the first one would be this one. Our company codes. I'm just I I, I just pressed F1 button on my keyboard, and now I'm getting the technical name the screen field. I will try to find it. 
and posting block is here. Okay. Uh, how can I say? That's very important to tell you guys. Uh, we could try to perform all fields, all fields at all, once, perform update all fields at once, but sometimes it's not possible. So if it's not possible to do that, you have to do the mass update field by field, okay? Uh, let me see if I have already chosen this one, spare. Pairs, okay, and let's find this field too. It's the same. Ah, okay. <laughs> Must be careful. So again, let's just confirming F one. This is LFA1 spare, okay? LFA1, LFA1, okay. And now, this will be AF, LFA1, okay? LFB1, okay? So, another table with the same field name here. Uh, just confirming. This one I already did, right? This one. Another table. Maybe it will not be possible to work, okay, guys? So just showing what we have to do. Another in the last field is this one. Okay. Bring it quickly because I don't wanna uh, uh, take your time. Okay, so I told the system how fields I would you like to lock. Okay, so let's run. System would you like to know which vendors I would you like to block. So as I told you, the first step was to create a list. You can export this list to Excel spreadsheet, and using the Excel, we can post over here. The all vendors I would like to block. So as I have a few vendors, I will not provide the vendor name. Okay, the vendor code, company code. I will provide the company code and my purchase organizations. Let's run. So this is what happens. Uh, system provides three tabs. One, let's just say, for each table. Okay. I'm not sure if it's wor gonna work because we have three tables over here. Usually, when you have only one table, it works fine. So, let's just see. So, what do we have to do? Provide the new vi values. So, I'm telling the system, uh, please, uh, central block posting, purchasing postings also, and block, block function will be 99 for all of them. After you provide the new values, you have to click over here, carry out a mass change. And all I have done over here will be transferred to the vendors you have selected. Okay? Let me see the other one. And the other one. Okay. I will do for all of them. Again, not sure it will work, okay? Uh, and let's save. I believe I have one vendor open here. Uh, I will leave. I mean, I will un unlock. Okay. Save. And let's see what happens. Cross your fingers. Okay. Here it works. I, I worked before in another another environment that it was not possible. So all we have to do now is just check if it works. Okay, I will pick this vendor, the second one, put over here and confirm that all fields are now uh, how can I say selected. 
and let's run again to report so we have the X the, the block uh, purchasing block they are selected and the block function for all vendors okay okay guys this is it I hope it helped you in your uh, professional life just sharing one more uh, I would say it is a good information uh, every company needs that okay thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye